Legislators are trying to come to a compromise about medical marijuana. Last night, the Utah State Legislature held a committee hearing, and Newsline reporter Amy Hamilton was there. Amy, how did the meeting go? There was a big turnout. Opponents and supporters of Proposition 2 showed up to find out what was included in the draft legislation. Mr. Speaker, the floor is yours. Please go ahead. While Prop 2 is already on the November ballot, committee members addressed the proposed medical marijuana compromise. What's the difference? What we've done now is we've come up with an agreement that satisfies a lot of the opposition's concerns in a way that allows the bulk of the program to move forward. The compromise includes key differences from Prop 2. Prop 2 allows people to grow their own marijuana. The compromise would only give marijuana flowers in sealed plastic bags. Prop 2 would allow medical marijuana for certain autoimmune disorders. The compromise would not. And Prop 2 would allow marijuana in edible form like baked goods, while the compromise would only contain marijuana in cube-shaped lozenges or capsules. I'm also concerned about uh, the, the federal law and how that's, that's going to work, and I think we need to look at that and, and be concerned about that. Opponents were particularly concerned that anyone can receive medical marijuana, regardless of age. No action was taken in the hearing, but controversy continues. The majority of proponents still feel restricted, while opponents fear medical marijuana could turn into recreational use. If you tell children that something is medicine, you're telling them it's good for them, and then they're going to want to use it. We found a way to kind of balance it out a little bit more, resolve some of the opposition they had, get patients what they need, and move on without all the hostility and combat for years to come. This bill will replace the proposition if it passes. If it doesn't, the bill will remain on the table for legislators. The legislators listen to the public and will call for a special session after the election if necessary. Back to you. Thanks, Amy.